Back here at home, cleanup is underway tonight after heavy rain and melting snow led to severe flooding. The majority of the damage was reported in Greene County, where homes and businesses were underwater. Now, the good news is the water has receded some tonight. Now, though, the task of assessing all that damage, figuring out what it's going to cost to clean up. Julie Grant is live in Waynesburg with more. Julie. Ken and Christine, good evening to you both. County officials tell me what may be the most interesting thing about this flood, it was just shy of two and a half inches that fell countywide, but because of the ground being frozen in so many places, that water just had nowhere to go. Roads looked more like rivers as the rain fell hard. For Greene County first responders, it was all hands on deck. Thankfully, no deaths or injuries. We had a couple campers with people trapped in them. Um, that again, some guys were in boats and, and, and life jackets and got them out of the other campers. Yeah, a handful of cars in high water that stalled out and so forth. Emergency management officials from both the county and state are surveying the damage. They say Rogersville and Waynesburg were the hardest hit areas. Wiley Stadium on Waynesburg University's campus sits next to a creek. The field was submerged in Sunday's flood. So yesterday we had a little bit of warning that it was going to flood, but uh, the water came up very quickly, and so we did our best to secure what we could, but in the end, the safety of our people was more important, and so we had to leave a lot of the equipment and the vehicles down here at the field. Today, you can see the writing again here on this goalpost pad. Yesterday, it was almost completely covered in water. You could see just about a foot to the top was dry. I'm five foot three, so standing next to this, it gives you an idea just how high the floodwaters were. We are talking with some companies about what it will cost to replace this turf on the field, but we do know that it is is going to be upwards of at least a half million dollars. It'll be a very expensive project to replace. County officials say it's too soon to know how much it will cost to repair the damage done countywide. The flood forced six families out of their home. I am told that the Red Cross is helping all six of those families tonight. Live in Greene County, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.